Hi, my name is Abby Lynch and I'm here for another week of Teen Book Talks. This week is all about new books. We've got another new book roundup here and I have a ton I want to get through so I'm going to try and keep it speedy. All of the books today are available in some form or another on Hoopla and I'll try and mention that as I go but they're also available for curbside pickup here at the library. Um, so you can place holds online or by calling 203-775-6241. The first couple of books I'm not gonna do a full rundown on, but I'm just gonna let you know that we have some updates in series. We have King of Fools, which is the second installment of the Shadow Game series by Amanda Foody. And that's available as an audiobook on Hoopla. I don't think Shadow Game is available on Hoopla, so you can request the first book um, from the library if you um, want to get started on the series. We also have the second and third installment of the Dark Matter series by Terry Terry. The first book in the series is called Contagion, and the new books that we have in are the second book, which is Deception, and the third book, which is Evolution. And those are available in ebook format on Hoopla. So now we'll get into some other new books. The first one is Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifueko. Teresa was raised in isolation by a mysterious, often absent mother known only as the Lady. The Lady sends her to the capital of the global empire to compete with other children to be chosen as one of the Crown Prince's Council of Eleven. If she's picked, she'll be joined with the other council members through the ray, a bond deeper than blood. That closeness is irresistible to Tarisai, who has always wanted to belong somewhere. But the lady has other ideas, including a magical wish that Tarisai is compelled to obey, kill the crown prince once she gains his trust. Tarisai won't stand by and become someone's pawn, but is she strong enough to choose a different path for herself? And this is recommended for fans of Tomi Adeyemi, who wrote the Children of Blood and Bone series, and of Saba Tahir, who wrote Ember in the Ashes. So if you're fans of those books, you'll probably like this one too as well. Look at this cover. Ray Bear is available as an ebook on Hoopla. All right, our next book is Dating Makes Perfect by Pintip Dunn. The Tech Sisters aren't allowed to date in high school until now. Six months after the older tech twins got to college, their parents asked, why aren't you engaged yet? The sisters retaliated by vowing that they won't marry for 10, maybe even 20 years, not until they've had lots of dating practice that they didn't get in high school. In a shocking war on the status quo, her parents now insist that their youngest daughter, Winnie, must practice fake dating in high school, under their watchful eyes, of course, and organized based on their favorite rom-coms, because that won't end in disaster. The first candidate, the son of their longtime friends, Matt. Arrogant, infuriating, and way too good looking. Winnie's known him since they were toddlers and his parents love him. If only he weren't her sworn enemy. So here you go, romance fans, dating makes perfect. This is available as an ebook on Hoopla. The next book is from our nonfiction section. It's called Body Talk, 37 Voices Explore Our Radical Anatomy, which is edited by Kelly Jensen and features essays from a whole bunch of different um, authors and writers. I've talked about Kelly Jensen, one of Kelly Jensen's other collections before, Don't Call Me Crazy. She has a book about, that's the book about mental health. She has one about feminism, and this one is about bodies. We all experience the world in a body, but we don't usually take the time to explore what it really means to have and live within one. Just as every person has a unique personality, every person has a unique body, and every body tells its own story. In Body Talk, 37 writers, models, actors, musicians, and artists share essays, lists, comics, and illustrations about everything from size and shape to scoliosis, from eating disorders to cancer, from sexuality and gender identity to the use of makeup as armor. Together, they contribute a broad variety of perspectives on what it's like to live in their particular bodies and how their bodies have helped to inform who they are and how they move through the world. So that's Body Talk by Kelly Jensen. I'm just going to read some of these authors here. Um, Tyra Banks, Alex Gino, Julie Murphy, Anna Marie McLemore, Eric Smith, a ton of great authors. Um, there's so many more too. Maybe um, somebody you likes in there. So you can check out Body Talk by Kelly Jensen, and that's available as an ebook on Hoopla. Next up, we have Facing the Sun by Janice Lynn Mather. Change is coming to Pinder Street. 
Eve is the rock in her family of seven, the one they always depend on. But when her dad is diagnosed with cancer, she wants nothing more than to trade her worries for some red lipstick and a carefree night. Faith is the dancer all the boys want, but she only has eyes for the one she can't have. Only thing is, all the flirting in the world can't distract her from her broken home life or the secrets that she hides. Kiki is the poet who won't follow the rules, not even to please her estranged father. But after a horrible betrayal, she'll have to choose between being right and losing everyone she loves. Nia is the prisoner longing to escape her overprotective mother. A summer art program might be her ticket to freedom, yet it comes with a terrible price, and the risk may not be worth the reward. Ready or not, it's time for these four friends to face the sun. So if you like a multiple perspectives book, this is going to be one for you. That's Facing the Sun by Janice Lynn Mather, and that's available in audiobook format on Hoopla. The next book is It Came from the Sky by Chelsea Sedoti. This is the absolutely true account of how Landsberg, Pennsylvania was invaded by aliens and the weeks of chaos that followed. There were sightings of UFOs, close encounters, and even abductions. There were believers, truth seekers, and above all, people who looked to the sky and hoped for more. Only, there were no aliens. Gideon Hofstadt knows what really happened. When one of his science experiments went wrong, he and his older brother blamed the resulting explosion on extraterrestrial activity, and their lie was not only believed by the town, it was embraced. As the brothers go to increasingly greater lengths to keep up the ruse and avoid getting caught, the hoax flourishes, but Gideon's obsession with their tale threatened his whole world. Can he find a way to banish the aliens before Landsberg and his life are changed forever? And this is told in like a report format. So there's interviews and blog posts, text conversations, and found documents. So if you like that epistolary um, report style of storytelling, you'll like It Came From The Sky. And that's available as an ebook on Hoopla. Our final title today, get a load of this cover. It's like this great matte finish too. Um, I love it so much. <laughs> um, the last title is Prelude for Lost Souls by Helene Dunbar. And this is recommended for fans of Nova Rensuma, Maggie Stiefvater, and Maureen Johnson. So I'll definitely be reading this one. In the town of St. Hilaire, most make their living by talking to the dead. In the summer, the town gates open to tourists seeking answers while all activity is controlled by the guild, a sinister ruling body that sees everything. Deck Hampton has lived there his entire life, but ever since his parents died, he's been done with it. He knows he has to leave before anyone has a chance to stop him. His best friend Russ won't be surprised when Deck leaves, but he will be heartbroken. Russ is a good medium, maybe even a great one. He's made sacrifices for his gift and will do whatever he can to gain entry to the guild, even embracing dark forces and contacting the most elusive ghost in town. But when the train of Annie Krylova, the piano prodigy whose music has been Deck's main source of solace, breaks down outside of town, it sets off an unexpected chain of events. And in St. Hilaire, there are no such thing as coincidences. So that's Prelude for Lost Souls by Helene Dunbar, and this is available as an ebook on Hoopla. So that was a lot of books, but we have a bunch of new ones in, and you can request them online for curbside pickup or by calling 203-775-6241, or you can check any of these books out on Hoopla, and we'll see you next time.